So I'm going to go a bit chirpier now, but the subject matter is far from chirpy. Um, I got this one from a, a book of Scottish fairy tales, so I'm dedicating it to Amanda, who obviously was told this when she was in her cradle as a young lassie. Anyway, um, this, this story, so obviously, you know, they, they design these stories to help children go to sleep at night, and um, you'll see the irony when you hear it. And... Um, so it's set to a chirpy tune, but it's got all of the classic folk themes in it. It's got infanticide, cannibalism, resurrection, um, a quest, a talking bird, and then finally, well, you'll see what happens at the very end. There once was a man had two children dear, but his wife was dead and gone. On an ill, ill day he married in East and a new wife he brought home. It was an ill, ill day for she was not kind, the children she despised. She plotted and planned to be rid of them and took the young boy's life. She put his body in the cooking pot to pretend it was rabbit stew. But the daughter guessed at her evil game and knew what she must do. Pew, pew, what a dreadful fate. Mother murdered me and my father me ate. My sister gathered my bones and buried them beneath two milk white stones until they grew and grew. Distress to you will belong. The dove alighted on a windowsill where a man was counting his store. The song you sang has bewitched me so that a bag of gold is yours. He finally flew to a brown, brown mill where two millers were grinding corn. And such was his song that the miller's son handed him a grain.
Thank you very much. We won't be doing any more about the cannibalism of small children tonight, that's a promise. Oh, no. I know you really wanted more, but you know. <laughs>